Hey guys, I want to thank Miss Parks for inviting me to an afternoon with a scientist program. I am Khalil Brown, the Hypros nutritionist in the field, and I would like to say our topic today is caring for a livestock. Livestock production is very important to Jamaica as it provides us with food, food such as meat and milk. To produce this meat and milk, farmers have to take into consideration some management practice that is important to enable them to produce safe meat and milk for human consumption. Key areas that farmers look into is the animal nutrition, the animal health, the animal husbandry and biosecurity, and also waste management. Let us discuss some of the common livestock production systems in Jamaica. We do boiler chicken for meat. We do laying hens for eggs. We do pigs for meat also, our famous jerk pork. We do goats for meat and milk or good old curry goat and we also do rabbits for meat jerk rabbit is fine we also rear sheep for meat and we have two sets of cattle we have cattle for milk which we consider them as dairy cattle and we have beef cattle these make our burgers so our first topic of concern is animal nutrition and when we speak of nutrition we talk about how is it that we feed these animals properly giving them a balanced diet First, we have to speak of the animal's digestive systems which determine what the animal can consume. We have monogastric animals like our pigs and chickens and we have ruminants which are like our cattle and our goats. Our pigs and chickens are grain feeders while our ruminants are known to consume roughage or grass. Each stage of the animal development requires some adjustment to the diet. For example, baby pigs, goats, sheep, rabbit and cattle all need milk. As ruminants get older, they now require grass to maintain their body. So our cattle, sheep and goats now require a grass-based diet. They use these grasses to convert it into meat or milk. And also water is important for all animals as it is essential to life. Now to our monogastric animals that require a more grain-based diet like your corn, soya bean, wheat, etc. That's how they survive. Another important management feature is the animal health. This is when we take our animals to do a doctor's visit. An animal doctor is called a veterinarian. He will come and ensure that your animal is in good health. He also conducts pregnancy checks and while wearing the proper PPEs, which is your personal protected equipment, and administering the right medication, the correct dosage, will ensure your animal is in the best condition. Importance to the animal health is, is the animal nutrition. Just like we mentioned before, it will ensure the animal remains in the best condition. However, we also conduct additional practices like to ensure that the animal is dewormed, to ensure that the animal is vaccinated, and all these things are done to ensure that the animal remains in the best of conditions. This practice is taken into consideration to manage our animals is considered animal husbandry and we conduct these practices to ensure that we have a profitable farm. This includes simple practices like how is it that we identify our animals, how is it that we protect them from wounds and from insects, how is it that we maintain record keeping or normal neonate care meaning the kid care and also when an animal is pregnant how is it that we take care of her. These are considered animal husbandry practices. We care for these animals like how we care for ourselves so we provide them with the proper housing and each animal have a different housing design or requirement. We ensure these housing protect these animals from the harsh environmental conditions like the sun and the rain and even protect them from theft. We keep animals on the inside. Some animals just require um, fencing and a tree to can live on the outside. In addition to housing, for example, our deer cattle would also require a milking parlor that will be designed to extract the milk from the animals and similarly for our goats. Rabbits are normally reared in cages. Main hens also require proper housing and also require cages that allows them to lay their eggs properly. We sometimes rear thousands of birds one time in what we call a ventilated house that provides an automatic environmental condition for animals. We also provide shade to our cattle to ensure that you're protected from heat stress. We also conduct feed testing to ensure that we maintain animal feed quality 
and soil testing to ensure that we can determine the right fertilizer regime to ensure that the pastures have the right quality and quantity. Farm biosecurity has become very important because of recent disease outbreaks within the animal kingdom. Each farm is required to put in place a biosecurity plan that will ensure the farm protects itself from harmful bacteria and viruses. This will ensure that farmers wash their hands, wash their boots, wear the protective PPEs, and also disinfect car wheels to ensure that they don't bring harmful microorganisms onto the farm. Another important feature is the waste management. Each farm will have what we call effluent, which is the waste produced from the farm. And sanitization is important to remove this waste. We will, however, develop technology like the biodigester that produces gas and vermicomposting using worms to break down these organic matter to get a fertilizer that can be used in crop production. I do hope this presentation opened your eyes to how is it that we care for our livestock. And you might be asking, who does livestock rearing? It could be you, a young 14-year-old like Jeremy and Rowe who does his goat rearing. And also it could be a politician like Damon Crawford, who's also invested in taking care of animals like goats. I am sure one of us might have a pet at home, a dog or a cat. But farmers also care for their livestock like their goats and sheep the same way we do for our pets. So think about it, try getting into some livestock rearing because we also do it for a profit.